everybody, I'm on the range today testing out for the first time my new Shotmax wrist timer watch. And I'm super excited about it because it's really cool, convenient. And so far, I don't even know that it's there. So I'm excited to see what's going to happen as I shoot some steel targets today. I've had a little bit of problems with steel lately and uh, hopefully I'll do good and uh, I'll love it. Easy to review, first shot 148 right out of the box. Uh, we had a second shot with a good split, and third shot 168 reload on uh, some small plate racks at about 12, 15 yards or so. I'll take it. Okay, I've shot about 150 rounds today and uh, I'm going to shoot a little bit more before I have to head out. But I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of feedback of my first impressions here. Um, so far, so good. At first, initially, I thought I wasn't going to like this watch because it's pretty big and I thought it would be too bulky that it would uh, interfere with my draw and my wrist. But I've moved it so it's not directly on my wrist joint. It's a little bit lower. And I, to be honest, haven't even felt it, which is really, really nice. The buzzer seems perfectly loud enough on its default setting, although there are lots of options here and you can change that as well as set part times. But for me, this has literally been plug and play sort of thing. The only thing I've done is updated the firmware and charged it, figured out how to turn the timer portion of the watch on, start and review. And so far, so good. It's done exactly what I wanted it to do. It's given me my splits and the feedback and audio start, of course, for the plates that I'm shooting today. And it's allowed me to identify when I've pushed too hard and when I haven't and all of the good things that a timer is useful for. So I'm pretty happy with it. And it's definitely gonna be a part of my range bag for, for a good while, I believe. So, so far, initial impressions, pretty darn good.